Wrestling Observer Live, uh, Mike Sempervivi, also WrestlingObserver.com. So yes, at this moment, and there may be more, at this moment this is the, re- the list of people that have been released from WWE today. Samoa Joe, Chelsea Green, Tucker, Kalisto, Bo Dallas, Wesley Blake, Billy and Peyton, and Mickey James. I could I could talk for hours here. First off, it is a one-year anniversary of when they cut God only knows how many total, because we never found out, but it was wrestlers and uh, agents and folks in the office, like across all departments. They just went nuts. May have been as many as 100 people they cut last year because they were in a pandemic. And uh, these were not people that were making like, you know, millions and millions of dollars. And long story short is we fast forward to the uh, earnings reports and everything like that. Uh, WWE in 2020, in the middle of a pandemic, they made more money than they'd ever made ever in any year of all time. Going back to 1963. Because a few things. Number one, they had been touring... And they were doing house shows that were drawing so little that uh, many of these house shows were losing money. So by canceling house shows that lose money, you got more money coming in. And of course, they have these gigantic television deals. And so they just were making so much money. I mean, there was zero, 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 zero reason to cut anybody in the middle of a pandemic. In fact, if you look at all of the other wrestling companies in in the world... Every single one of them, for the most part, didn't cut anybody. You could maybe count on one hand a number of people that got cut from various places for various reasons. But uh, for the most part, every other company in the world kept everybody under contract. And none of them are making the money that WWE is making. Well, here we are in 2021. The company is now making even more money. They just did the Peacock deal. So, like, they're going to make far and away the most money they've ever made, ever, all time, all their lives this year. But it's time to do some cuts. Budgetary reasons. Samoa Joe, Chelsea, Tucker, Kalisto, Bo Dallas, Wesley Blake, Billy and Peyton, Mickey James. Probably more to come. And, uh, like, I don't want to... I mean, I guess I kind of have to point out that some of these are more baffling than others. I mean, for example, I mean, when's the last time anybody saw Bo Dallas? They weren't doing anything with... Bo Dallas has been paid for, like, years, and I don't think they've used him. So that one is less surprising than, for example, Samoa Joe! Imagine not knowing what to do with Samoa Joe. Now, I mean, maybe... Maybe Samoa Joe just couldn't get cleared and they couldn't have him wrestle anymore. I mean, maybe that was what happened. But, bro, this guy was a great commentator. I mean, I'm not asking for Byron Saxton to be cut, but Byron Saxton... Byron Saxton is employed as an announcer and they got rid of Samoa Joe. Now, in a perfect world, I would not want anyone to be cut, even Bo Dallas... I mean, listen, you guys can't come up with one idea for Bo Dallas. He's the brother of The Fiend. All of this wacky stuff you do with The Fiend. I mean, somebody, I'm sure some fan out there, could think of something to do with Bo Dallas. But we have to cut these people. Don't know what to do with any of them. And what's funny about it, not funny, it's actually sad, but it's something that we've talked about many times. I mean, let's, let's, I mean, I I just, I mean, you could come up with a million ideas for Bo Dallas for crying out loud. Listen, Billy was not the best wrestler in the world, okay? She probably may have been the worst wrestler on the active roster in WWE. However, Billy and Peyton together were an act that a lot of people liked. And if Billy is not a great wrestler, you can put her in the ring and she can be very limited and then Peyton can carry the heavy load. And you've got another women's tag team. How many times... Do we have to see Nia and Shayna against Dana and Mandy on Raw? A thousand times? Because there's like no women's tag teams? Well, you had a potential women's tag team here, Billy and Peyton. But you had the brilliant idea to break up best friends, send them their separate ways, 
not have any idea what to do with them as singles, and then fire them. Maybe you could have just kept them together, and they could have done tag team matches. I know, I know, I know. I mean, we've got, uh, you know, Tucker. Remember when Otis and Tucker were like a very popular tag team that people liked and they liked Tucker and they liked Otis and they liked them together as a team. Well, you broke them up. Then you couldn't figure out anything to do with Tucker. And then you decided that Otis needed to be a bad guy. Is Otis better now as a bad guy? Anybody? So anyway, I look at all of these and... I don't know why anybody had to be cut, but they had to be cut because, God forbid, we need to make some money this year. Anyway, there's probably more to come, but I don't know what you want me to do. It's not my company. Any comments, Mike, on these cuts, these these drastic needed cuts here in the middle of 2021? Well, you know, when it comes to Bo Dallas, I guess he had already announced his intention to retire and move to a farm with Liv Morgan. So that cut is not a surprise whatsoever. Uh, Mickey James. <laughs> he decided to retire from a, from a business that wouldn't use him in any way. It's true. But but at least you know he 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 made his intention, so I'm not really surprised by that one at all. Mickey James, kind of the same way, you know, married to Nick Aldis. They used her for what the Royal Rumble. Haven't used her again since, so that one's not a surprise either. You mentioned what the ridiculous part about Tucker and Billy Kay and Peyton Royce is, which was they should have never broken up Billy and Peyton when they discovered that Billy and Peyton would be not good together as a not as a team and you weren't going to do anything with with Billy or I'm sorry with Peyton why not just put them together Tucker you had turn on Otis and then you had Otis turn and Tucker was chasing around the 24/7 title I hate to say it but I'm not shocked by this at all same thing with Chelsea Green but it's like okay you're not using Chelsea Green you're also not using Santana Garrett as well as many other women you know is this just going to be the tip of the iceberg when it comes to some of those women and as far as the men go you know they have a lot of people i don't want to see anybody get cut either with that said all right you're not going to use Callisto for anything fine you know let him go let him try something else same thing with wesley blake great but what about Aleister Black? What about Murphy? What about people that seem to either not want to be there or would really like to do more and get out and do something else? Are you going to continue to be spiteful and hold those people under contracts, people that absolutely don't want to be there? So I, I don't know. Samoa Joe is the name that I don't care if you you couldn't use him in the ring as an announcer or, or in the ring as a wrestler. And you didn't, you weren't big on him as an announcer. If that was it, you tell me he can't train anybody. You're telling me he can't be an asset to your team in some sort of way. I mean, at the very least, understand that this guy is going to be an asset in AEW, New Japan Strong, Ring of anywhere this guy decides to go. Uh, and, and at the very least, be an ambassador or a representative that just shows up on shows, just his presence is going to get people to show up on shows, is going to get people interested in tuning in, at least for the short term. How they couldn't find a position for Samoa Joe, I don't know, but they're going to hand him off to somebody else, and he's going to benefit them greatly. I really Well, on that, that subject, can I say something here? Absolutely. Because we got a really uh, really friendly chap here. Oh, yeah. you, uh, you can never fire anybody, Brian. Is WWE supposed to employ everybody forever? Dude, well, first off, we didn't fire one single person in the middle of the pandemic. Not one. He's, he's fired me six times. Uh, the Rob is not working right now, but uh, he was never hired. He was on a per day basis. <laughs> but anyway, point of this yeah. is, dude, yeah, they can release people if they want, but it's not even about they're releasing people right now that they don't have to release. Did you Did you listen to anything that I said? They released a guy doing commentary that was better than almost everybody else doing commentary. Wait, and he out. may have been better than everyone. Hold on. Look, Hold good. on. And furthermore, <clears throat> as I rattle down these names right here, what was my point? My point was we see the same thing on every Raw, every SmackDown. Rematch, 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 rematch. How about you use some of these people here so this show isn't so boring and repetitive? Back in a moment, Observer Live. Lance is doing his online coaching service 
as he reviews and critiques the Battle of the Empire. This match is reminiscent of Flair Steamboat. Unfortunately, it's Vic Steamboat and David yes. Flair. Oh, terrible. And then again, this is what threw me because that is not a particularly babyface thing to do. I wouldn't say we were both heels, but I, I could argue we were both unlikable. <laughs> and to this day Cardio and lack of interest is a big part I think Orange Cassidy stole his gimmick from Vinny Look at the cover of this DVD It's one of my favorite photos of myself ever taken And it is absolutely Orange Cassidy You do look old. exactly like Orange Cassidy Just much yes. larger Yes, and worse Watch Vinny's head <laughs> Oh no Bounce off the mat When he misses this elbow Face the wrong way Oh, God. Putting your own how, move on How disgraceful you. to put the, the man behind figure four in a figure four. This was really well done here at the end, though. You hit this so dead perfect in the middle. Not that chop, though. No. No! You need the flailing because there needs to be energy to the spot because it's supposed to be fun. The crowd wants to be excited, so someone has to display energy, and it's not going to be the man in the ring. <laughs> oh, so, no, yeah. don't do that. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you fool! I got a little else to say. It's not very good. I miss chopping people. Wasn't the best match of all time. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you got five stars. You could probably take some lessons from Miz on how to work. Oh, get out of here. If you're out there listening and you would like Lance to uh, review one of your matches, much like he did to ours here, how do they do this, Lance? They can email me at swavirtualtraining at gmail.com. As I mentioned, the price is uh, 125 US for a single session. Uh, 300 for three. So again, SWA virtual training at gmail.com. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.